Hi everyone, welcome back to This is the Police, here we go. Golden Bird, truckers unhappy with suburban roads. The Freeburg Tribune, fire at the puppet theatre, two actors dead. <gasps> the fact, Freeburg Gymnast wins a regional competition. Smith didn't come into work today. God damn it, Smith. Are you new? I think she might even be new. Uh, Moza, my friend just crashed into someone's car at an intersection and she's in ter uh, terrible panic. Can I go help her? No. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I come in? Can I can go home? Yes, old Mother Price. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk. No, uh, no you, you, we need you in today. Price can go home because she'll be fine. Oh, we got... We've got five detectives today. Excellent. We can get some of these cases sorted out, hopefully. Right. Uh, the funeral of... Oh, Jill. Austin. Oh, well. And the jewellery made 10,000. We're going to take everything like that. We're up to 89,000. Lovely. Um, attempted murder. A girl shouted over the phone at, at her grandmother is has been killed at her home. How was that attempted? If she's d Anyway, we're not going to worry about the semantics of that. Let's send Pongol. Let's send Birch. I don't want to call him Pongol, but um, it's not even his name. Right, this theft. Detectives. Ah, right, hang on. Invest oh, can we do the gang? Yes, we can do the gangs. Fantastic. Uh, so we're going to investigate him, weren't we? So Weaver, you're up because you're the best. Now take Wayne, Barg. And these other investigations. Uh, you need some help, don't you? So you can have Debrito and Porter. And then we'll, we'll move them over to uh, Moses' investigation after they've completed the next one. Cool. Okay, everything's going quite well. Uh, Butch doesn't look terribly happy with that. We, we're really short of offices on this shift, aren't we? Oh, City Hall. Oh, hang on, no, hang on. City Hall Centre. Right, City Centre. A few drinks. Sorry, a few drunks are playing darts, and one of them got uh, one in the shoulder. A fight broke out, which was quickly joined by the patrons of the bar. Okay, Kojak. Ah, uh, patrons of the bar. We'll send the paddy wagon. Robbins, take Grant. You're all up. So we've got Vandal and Samadhi. The murder. Oh, oh, oh. The road to the house is strewn with the corpses of drowned dogs. What? The lights inside the house are on, but the door is locked. Uh, call through the front door. Uh, a bleeding elderly woman is lying on the floor at the front of the living room. So it's the second floor. Check whether the woman is still alive. Check the backyard. Uh, let's check if the woman is still alive. Pongal, Birch, Fender Court, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. We saved the old lady. Good job. Birch is up to 200. This was the completely useless cop at the beginning of this. He's now up to 200 professionalism. Unbelievable. Armed robbery investigation. Okay. Um, some jewelry was being transported in a black van. The side of the van was decorated with the Diamond Protection Security Agency logo. There was one security guard armed with a pistol. There were three bikers armed with submachine guns. Anton Tradyatkov and his associates were travelling on bikes painted with camouflage colours. Witness, at the time of the robbery, the van was passing a few cars. The driver of these vehicles reported that the first biker jumped the median and went, went straight for the van, head on like a suicidal madman. The van tried to avoid the collision and went off the road and overturned. The robbers took everything of value from it and were about to leave when the bloodied guard emerged from the van's cab to open fire. The bikers emptied their weapons at him and fled. Oh, probably been better off where he was. Okay, well, we need some frames on that one. I'm sure Weave is going to be all over that. Uh, the fight in the city centre. Fender court, officers in harms. Good job, guys. Well done, Paddy Wagon. Always a... Solid contribution from the paddy wagon there. Right. Nearly every everyone's back at station now. We're in good shape. 
Um, yeah, time's ticking on. No calls. Oh, here we go. Christopher Sands needs some help. The family bank just called to report a strange man in a leather jacket with fake documents trying to empty one of our accounts. Obviously, it's one of Varga's agents, but it's such a stupid move. We don't want to get our hands dirty with this one. Just lock him away in the filthy cell. Right, Grant, you're up. Birch may need to take a day off. So may Pong as well, because he's a bit tired. But uh, at the moment, they're a bit short on that shift, so uh, the answer is no. Grant's at the scene. Seems to have gone well. Suspicious individual. A cashier just called in. Her voice in a whisper. Two suspicious black men have entered the store. They spent a few minutes browsing the rack with an explosive, sorry, expensive whiskey. And now they're whispering to each other and looking back at me. It looks like they're planning on robbing the store. Pong, take Samadhi and Birch. Yeah, it's a very quiet day. Very quiet day in Freeburg indeed, which is the way I like it, to be fair. I wonder what this big... Is that... Because it's obviously Christopher Sands Ranch. I wonder if that's um, Varga's uh, mansion over there. So that's obviously the cathedral. Factories and stuff. Suspicious individual. The men were unarmed and were just doing a little shopping. They were picking out an expensive bottle of whiskey as a gift for their grandfather on an anniversary. Well, we sent three cops for a false alarm. Ah well. Ah well. The Riverbank. Passerby witnessed three people trying to break into an ATM. A pickup truck was parked nearby, its engine still on, with another man behind the wheel. Looks like they're trying to grab the ATM and carry it its way to the truck. Kojak, take Robbins, take Grant. Go and sort them out. Uh. Oh, coming up to the end of the day. Well. Going up to the evening, at least. Things are quieting down after a few manic days, which is quite nice. It's nice to get everything back in perspective. Hopefully the investigation work will come in in a minute and we can get some frames and hopefully we'll be able to piece together some of the cases. The situation is more serious than we thought. Requesting backup. Okay. Pong. Take Samadhi. Take Birch. Vandalia's going to have to man everything. Oh, Christopher Sands. Some punks have thrown Molotov cocktails into the office building where we uh, make... Where we make book. Where we make book. Anyway, eyewitnesses say that these idiots are throwing bottle after bottle, even through the building is red already falling apart. They're probably still there some by. Okay, we're gonna have to wait and see see if anyone's gonna come back from If not, I don't want to send Vandal on his own because I don't know if he'll go will you go on his own? No you won't. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to be able to help out on this one because I don't think these guys are going to be back from the station in time. Armed druggery. Oh, we got some more frames. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Uh, so we've got the. This is the bloody guard coming out of the truck. This is them with their submachine guns, and this is them with the jewels. So that's going to be there. That might be there. That might be there. Because that's going to have them run, them running him off the road, aren't they? So that's cool. Theft report. Offender caught. Officers and harmed. Excellent. Get back to the station. ASAP, please, guys. They haven't got far to go. We might be able to do this Christopher Sand ones. The robbery. Open the investigation. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's $50, wasn't it? So it's $50. So he got drunk. Uh, we think as a doctor... We, had, we don't have enough frames for that one. That's fine. Um, come on, guys. Get back. Six, five, four, three, two. Damn it. We didn't have enough time. Let's have a look at these then. Uh, no frames on that investigation. And the theft, no frames on that investigation. Damn. Disappointing end to the day. Vargas is catching up. But he's, there's still a sizable lead. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Shift day. Average day. Oh, look at that Birch. He's knackered. He needs a day off for sure. The Brito needs a day off as well. Day 24, August 7th, Wednesday. The Goldenberg. Freeburg mortality rises up to 
Freeburg Tribune. Central Liberty flooded in downpour. The fact. Farmers harvest record corn crop. Thanks to the corn statue, which we had a few episodes ago. Okay, in our little jalopy, off we go. Debrito, I can hardly... Yeah, you come in tomorrow, mate. I was up all night, can't sleep. Uh, I have a ringing in my ears. No, you're coming in. I drank too much. No, you're coming in. I've got no sympathy if you're drunk. And you got a full health bar, you're coming in. Day 24. At a recent regional conference, which was attended by people of our administration, we learned that the government wishes to lower the average age of public servants by at least five years. The city would most likely be subject to an upcoming review. Uh, please dismiss all senior staff at the police station as quickly as possible. Uh, again, they're purposely trying to goad you into losing officers, which you can't really afford to. So obviously we got we got Birch, which we should get get rid of, I guess, and and Price, which you know I, I suppose it's not the end of the world. Uh, how long do we have to do that, actually? We have... I don't know. It doesn't say. Okay, we need to get this one, though. I've, oh, God. Other, old Mother Baker. We wouldn't be able to employ her. Goodness me. So, uh, Birch, we need to fire him. But we need to do it legally. He's too old. That's a legal fire. Yeah. I'm sorry, Birch. You're out. Um, Price, it's the same for you, my love. You're too old. I'm sorry. Um, what about Debrito? He's too old as well. You're out of here, Debrito. I I'm just I'm gonna have a real curl. This guy's got a grey. Is he too old? Yeah, he's done nothing anyway. Boom. Hey, City. We've done something for City Hall. Keep up the good work. We'll make sure that your final days in Freeburg are much more comfortable. Right now, we need to employ some more. Um, stuff because we've just sacked half of our staff right it's gonna be sad to see old mother price go but you know let's be fair she's still fighting for custody of her kids and uh, things are not, things are tough a woman attacked her lover with a hammer after he told her he'd been cheating on her the police called in time came for the woman's daughter mum is really lost it i'm afraid she'll kill kill him so okay fine gotchi take yancy and take percy right we've got some more um well, we'll, we'll em employ Poots. What shift are we on? We're on shift B. We need to hire you. And I want you on shift A. And Milton, welcome to shift B. Yeah, why not? Good. Good. Um, how is Debrito on? What the heck? You, you guys are fired. So, Wormsley, you go on that one. And actually, let's get you you off. I'm going to stick you on here as well. We're going to get everyone on this one. Let's see if we can get that one sorted. It's a bit of a state, isn't it? Our old um, shift rate at the moment. But, you know, Price has only just managed to get decent, well, average, and... Birch was, well, he's pretty rubbish to begin with. Right, Corey Ramsey saw a group of women in the park wearing ski masks, leading two other scantily clad women with leathery leashes, shouting offensive slogans about the superiority of female sex. Judging by their unintelligible cries, the offenders seem to be preparing for a sacrifice. Ooh, interesting. Purdy, your lovely womanly charms. Take Mazza and take Best. The good thing is we can use... Uh, price today. Assault, culture, Yancey, Percy, offender court, officers and harms, civilians and harms. Good job. Percy's up to 35. See, I told you to make a good cop out of him. You all laughed and sneered and said, no, it's never going to happen. Kill him off. Kill him off, you shouted. I heard you from the rafters. But no, he's got to be a good cop if it kills me. And you know what? It may well do. Purdy Mazza, best. Offenders court, officers and harms, civilians and harms. No sacrifice was committed. Happy days. Ah, oh, theatre of drama. Mr. Boyd, we're 
instituting a new advertising spot for Bamboo Toilet Paper Company. In the ad, there's an important role played by a policeman. The local actors here are only good for kid stuff, and we need a true professional, someone the audience will believe is the real thing. We'd be grateful if you could provide us with some of your best employees. Percy, Price, Asano, get to it. I don't mind if they fancy another job in a different career line. Price is leaving. Asano and Percy are pretty rubbish anyway, so... No worries there. Cool. Well... This is playing on my mind a bit. I want to get these done as quickly as possible. Got 10 frames and we haven't been able to solve that. It's really annoying. Debbie's Special Cafe. Someone stole a golden retriever belonging to Eddie Goldberg, owner of Eddie's Burgers. While the dog was playing with his back in his backyard, later that day, regulars of the burger joint said they saw a dog muzzled and led around by two junkies near Debbie's Cafe. Kochi, Yancey, go and check it out, please. Uh, Chief, Price really enjoyed doing the ad, and the director thought it was so great, he's offered a couple of other roles. I think the college might even quit. I think our colleague might even quit the service and go for a career in the commercials. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, 15 grand for helping him out. Holy moly, we're up to 100,000 grand. 100,000 grand? 100,000 dollars. That is pretty good. And Pri if Percy wants to go off and, or Price wants to go off and do that, I can't even remember which one it was now. Got so excited by reading that. I forgot. Oh, it's Price. Price has gone gone into the commercials, which is great because she just lost her job. So it's good that she was able to find herself a position fairly quickly. You know, the, the guilt is relieved. I'm no longer worried about Price. Good on her. Anyway, the kitchen at uh, Debbie's Cafe is hopping busy. Debbie is making sausages for her new brand of hot dogs when she notices the police she quickly dumps the dog collar in the trash oh my god she hasn't been cooking the dog shout to all the cafe's customers that the hot dogs are made from actual dogs no good god no check the refrigerator ask about the collar and ask debbie about her relationship with eddie goldberg offender court officers and harms i think they were eating the dogs that makes me sad uh, somehow, a whole army of armed punks have seized a position on one of the fields of the ranch. Obviously, we're going to drive them off by force. We've already got some men together, but extra help won't hurt. Percy, best, Asano, get to it. Okay. I can't believe... Oh, we've had beaten up horses, eating dogs. That's awful. Reckless endangerment. An L elderly veteran is dragging around a bag filled with captured weapons, all loaded with live ammunition. He says he's trying to demonstrate battlefield-like conditions. Purdy, Austin, go and check it out. Hopefully we can bring back some automatic weapons and we'll bring them back to the station and see if we can't arm our officers with uh, better things. I don't know if that's how it works, but that would be really cool if it is. That'll save the old budget, won't it? Uh, Christopher Sands needs some more help. Apparently some punks are hiding out in another abandoned construction site. The local homeless folk normally ice over uh, when they start asking questions. Maybe they're more okay. Mazza, go and have a chat with the homeless. See if they can uh, shed light on any Christopher Sands issues. Reckless endangerment. Austin, no. He had a drinking problem anyway. Uh, he wasn't really more. He's a good officer though. That's a shame. Uh, officer dead. Civilians in harm. Loot found. Non-automatic weapons. We're going to bring this weapons back to the police station. See if we can equip our guys. Oh no. Not another death. So we need another person for shift B. Oh my goodness. There's only mother, old mother Hubbard, isn't there? Ah. Uh, no new frames for that one. No new frames for that one. Bloody hell. Useless. Useless, I cry. Um, I'm trying to think now. So Price is leaving. We're going to be two down on this shift. So we're going to have to uh, announce his death straight away. 
Uh, Sands has got a 10 point lead in the polls, which is looking good. Looking very good. Hopefully that's uh, come to its conclusion soon. Uh, we're going to declare him dead straight away so we can get another cop out onto ship B as soon as possible. Right. We'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Hit that thumbs up if you are. And join me next time for the next exciting adventures in the police department in Freeburg. I'll see you next time.